Well, it's October 14th, and I have a day off, and we're having some wonderful rainy Michigan weather, and it's supposed to rain for the next couple days. I've got the motor mocked up, and it's pretty close. I took a lot of measurements. It's going to fit right there. You can see the pulley in the front, and that's the location where it was at um, originally. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to make some motor mounts. I, oh, excuse me, I've got it propped up on some 2x4s right now, but it's all mocked up. <clears throat> i got plenty of clearance in the front. So where the fan's on. And barely enough clearance in the rear with the hydraulic pump. So, if I take this off. Here you can, you can get a good look at the position that it's in. So, so it's looking good. So, just gonna right now I'm gonna have to uh, make some motor mounts. And I'm gonna make the motor mounts out of some inch and a quarter tubing that I got at Auto Value. So, and we'll go from there. Well, I don't know if this is going to focus or not. It's pretty dark, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see down there, but I made my motor mounts. Basically, it's just about a six and a quarter inch length of one and one quarter inch stock cut on each side. And I'm going to mark off the holes since I can't get a a pen or a marker down there to do it. I'm just going to dip a Q-tip in some primer and just work the Q-tip in the hole, work it all around so it should leave a mark. And then I'll remeasure and put it on the drill press and drill out my bore out my drill out my uh, four holes. We'll go from there. Okay, I've got okay. I got the motor mounts cut and drilled. The sides bolted on. That, that that side too. Um, I wish I could tack the motor mounts right to the engine block, but that's aluminum to mild steel, and that's just not going to work out for me. I don't have any way of doing that. Um, and the problem is to try to line it up. I've got the bolt heads on the bottom, which are going to raise it up another at least quarter inch, maybe more. So, but now I'm going to have to try to get everything lined up on the motor. Mark where, well, actually, I'm going to take the mounts off. And uh, I was going to put a cross brace in between the two mounts and weld it so it looks like an H, but I don't think I'm going to now. I think I'm going to try to line them up on the motor mark where they're at as best I can and uh, drill my holes from there without the bolts in it. So I'm a little worried about that so we'll see if it how it pans out. Okay I had to uh, cut off the uh, it'd be the right hand side support for the original clutch and gauge lever and I cut that off because I want to slide this forward more so I did just trim that off okay I got a mock-up going one thing I can tell you right off the bat is the firewall is gonna need some cutting to get around the mount for the hydraulic pump that is gonna need a little bit of trimming nothing major um, also I've got the pulley lined up where it lines up on the other my case that hasn't been ripped apart so that's in the same spot so that's good and I've definitely got enough room on the fan shroud slash oh, hydraulic support um, shroud I know it's kind of hard to tell in the picture but and I've got enough of a gap to be able to get a belt around the front fan so that was important so 
the motor mounts aren't exactly lined up where they're going to end up. I have time to attack those to the frame and then drill them. But um, other than that, it's looking good. Now, I don't know about the hood. I mean, that is a big ass freaking motor, and I don't even know if I dare try to put the hood on or not. So we'll see. Okay. Well, I just dry fitted the the hood, and where the front pin would go is pretty close to being lined up right now. I did paint it black. You can see that turned out pretty good. Um, but it is definitely going to be too high, or the motor is going to be too high. So I'm going to have to. And I suspected this anyway because when I looked on the internet, other people had a problem with it. Um, they were just using smaller motors too. I'm going to have to raise up the front about, oh, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches. But that shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And I think we'll be good. It's, I don't know, it's going to be close. She's, uh, those overhead valve covers right there. I don't know if I'm going to have to try to flex the hood out or not. But I will have to make a mount for the front, but I'm not going to worry about that until everything's said and done and bolted in and engine running and then I'll make a mount for that.